Time for some more unedited lot on videos. Let's see if my better camera is working. Uh, it occasionally disconnects and then it reconnects. I don't know. Everything is broken. There we go. <laughs> uh, sounds like my husband is awake. So good. Um, so time, adjectives, and plurals. So there's the verbs are always going to be the same word. You're not going to have like a past tense and a future tense. There's no verb conjugation that way. Uh, you can add an extra word in your sentence to indicate the time or the tense. So at, you would put your um, speech act morpheme like be, and then you would put the time and then the verb in the rest of the sentence. And I know my hands are probably backwards from what I'm trying to do. Uh, so just ignore my hand placement because I'm not going to be able to coordinate that on the fly. Uh, so for instance, if we had Everil, it's past, real is present, Avril is future, Avril is pat, very far past, Av, oh, I'm sorry, Avril is very far future, and real really is hypothetical. This is another example of just a a bug in Ladan, but it's fine because it's a language. Languages have bugs. Um, so for instance, we'll say, are you going to eat later? So this is uh, to eat you later question. Ba avril yodne. I tend to still raise the end of the sentences because I speak English, so we do that when we ask questions. Ba avril yodne. And then you could say, yes, uh, later on I will eat. Be avril yodne wa. Or I did eat in the past. Or I ate a long time ago. I will eat a long time in the future. I'm kind of I'm still bad at the sounds, um, the uh, tones. And then it'd be like I would eat hypothetically, I guess. Like I would eat, but Steve is in the break room. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Um, Okay, so now getting into adjectives, if you wanted to say like the old lady and not just the lady is old, so the lady is old, oh, I have it right here, would be old grandmother, anyone can see, this is a declaration. So that was the sentence form we covered last time. Um, so if you wanted to actually say old grandmother, you would have to add the prefix wo to both the verb, the content, and the function. Um, so wo balen, wo hothul. Sorry, I'm like accenting those even though they shouldn't be. It's really hard to speak like accented bliss. Wo balen, wo hothul. Um, that would be old grandmother, not just the grandmother is old. So if we say the grandmother is sewing, be adal hothul wo. So if we wanted to add that all together, here's sewing, here's old grandmother. And generally, you know, it'll be in the same kind of order as in English, like old grandmother. You don't have to worry about the sentence order there. So, be adal wobalen wohothul with, um, yep. And then for plurals, we don't pluralize the noun, we pluralize the verb in there. So um, the prefix here is me, and uh, there is a, sometimes you can change it to n instead of me if the verb begins with a d. Oh, okay. I guess that should happen. I never remember that. <laughs> Who cares? It's a language. Everyone, you know, uses it and then it evolves, right? Um, so if we had, right now the woman is working, Bevril hal with we. So right now, working woman, as anyone can see, if we're changing it to women are working, we would actually put the um, plural prefix on the working part. Bevril mehal with we. With we. Um, and again, right now, I am singing. Bevril lalom le we. This is singing. 
I. There's also special types of plurals for um, pronouns. Did I even put that in here? I should probably add that in here. I will. I don't know where did I cover pronouns. Later. Okay. Well, we'll go over that too. There's different plural. You can pluralize the pronouns. So in this case, we have melalom lejwe. So this is indicating an amount of people. We'll go over that in a minute. Uh, I will I'll make a note. Need to update that. Um, here, singular, she was speaking, so speaking, third person, they, she, him, it, um, singular, because it's just be, um, how do you pronounce that? Um, and then beautiful woman, with, and then beautiful women, uh, me wohaya wo with. So you have to you have your adjective marker and then your plural marker added to that. Plural without a verb. You can also add some words in there for many, few, all, any. Um, and I also have more reference documentation. There's all sorts of stuff. Uh, anyway, let's go over the pronouns now since I incorrectly put, I, I mean, I put pronouns in the last one before covering it in the first one, or maybe I just need to reorder this lesson to go before the other lesson. Um, so with the pronouns, we have first person, second person, third person, and then we have singular, plural of two to five, some, and then plural of six or more, many. So for first person singular, it's la, that's like, I am eating a cake. If we had two to five people, it would be lege, le, 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 lege, um, and then plural len. And again, for second person, ne, neige, nen, be, beige, bin. So I am present, him, hum. <laughs> I want to read that in English, but it's hum, to be present, to attend. Be, hum, le, we. And then we are present. Be, me, hum, le, jwe. And then objects. So then there's an object marker. If you have studied Esperanto, the object marker is mm. So you could say, uh, mi manjas pomon. But in here, it's th. So we added a th to the end of the object. So for instance, we have eat, I, I am eating, be yodlewa, to eat. If we want to put a object that's happening, uh, doyu is apple, th is the object marker, so be yodle doyu thwa, I am eating an apple. And again, I accented stuff, because <laughs> I just feel like accenting stuff, that's how I speak, right? Um, I am eating cheese, be yodle odon thwa. Um, I think, yeah, odon, odon is cheese, and then you have to add the E and the TH because you don't want to have the consonants touching. I want a cake. Um, so, want, nede, nede. I, cake, object, yeah, I want a cake. Okay. Let's take a breathing break, two seconds. Um, Okay, also, and it says in the original grammar book as well, if the context is clear without the object marker, you can leave it off. So for instance, I can speak Ladon, but Ladon can't speak me. So that would be clear no matter what. Okay, now for multiple verbs. So this would be like, I want to go. I want to play. I need to do taxes. <laughs> Stuff like that. So if we have I am eating, it's be yodliwa. But if it's I want to eat, you put your want verb and then the eat verb and then the I, the noun. So, be ne de I want, sorry, I want eat. And then here's with the plural. So you add the plural to both of those, I suppose. I wrote this 
So I'm hoping I'm correct. Again, I was like researching as I was doing it, but sometimes I make mistakes. So I assume that you put the plural marker to both of these. Okay. Finally, the to try to verb. So we have a prefix do for to try. So here's I'm studying. Studying I. And then if we are trying to study, and then again we have to put the H. Do hulanin lewa. Trying to um, vowel separator and then ulanin. So that's those. Next we can look at a bunch of different markers because there's a lot of markers for going here, going there, with, for, per, uh, to cause something to happen, through and across. So these are all different um, affixes. And then these are more advanced topics and those. And then there's also a grammar reference in case you wanted it all on one page. Yay. Okay. We'll revisit later.